Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am reviewing the new Armani Luminous Glow Blushes. I am so excited about these. These were sent to me, but I was already planning to pick up a couple colors and when I saw that they sent me four different ones, I was so excited. Um, I will apply them on, I'm gonna swatch them and give you a full first impression on these products. So if you're interested, continue watching. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Tanya. I'd love for you to subscribe down below and let's get started. These blushes run for $38. They come in eight different shades. On the Sephora site, I only see six now, but they're probably gonna keep adding them. And this is supposed to be a radiant finish, long wearing. It's a silky powder blush that visibly smooths skin's texture, delivers a luminous yet natural looking flush of color. Um, so I was very excited when I first saw these just because our money doesn't come out with new products often. And from what I might understand, they discontinued their old powder um, blushes and these are the new ones. Now they send me four different shades and it seems like only one of them is like has some like shimmer in it. The other ones, I haven't swatched them yet, but the other ones seem quite matte, but we'll see, we'll see once we try them on. This is how the packaging looks like. Very sleek. The color is inside. You get a mirror right there. And they look nice, sleek, small, but very convenient. Here I have their Neo Nude uh, blushes that are more of a uh, cream to powder formula. This color is phenomenal. And you know, the, the packaging is similar, but this one has a little bit more detail on the top. And this is kind of like just a simple black packaging. You also get 3.6 grams of product. So let's look at the colors. So these are the colors that I have. I'm starting from my right hand. The first one's the color 50, 51, 52, and 60. So just looking at this, it seems that the color 50 from these is the only one that has like actual kind of shimmer in it. I don't know if you can tell there. Let's swatch this. I haven't swatched them. I haven't done anything. Yes, yeah, see, it has that glow to it. Let's see. Ooh, that looks beautiful. It's almost like it has a golden shift to it. This color is called Euphoric and it's a peachy pink and it definitely has like glow to it and a shift of gold shimmer through that pink. It's really beautiful. Let's try the next one. The next one is 51. And this is a dusty rose. That is the color right there. It's extremely smooth. Wow. Looks absolutely stunning. Okay, so looking at this, I don't see any shimmer or radiance to it. It seems like it's a matte blush but a very silky, kind of reminds me of the Gucci ones. I'm gonna compare them in a little bit. Okay, moving on to the color 52. This is a cool baby pink. It's definitely brighter and more cool tone than the other ones, but this is also like a matte finish. And the last one is the color 60, and this is a plum color. Now that I swatched it, it actually looks like it has a sheen through it. It's not matte. I, and honestly, if I look at all of them, none of them look flat matte, but there's no shimmer in them except this one. And it seems like this one has more of a sheen to it than these two, but none of them look extremely matte and flat. They just look just a soft, natural finish. It really, they do remind me the texture a lot of the Gucci ones. I'm gonna swatch the Gucci one real quick, just so I can feel the texture and how smooth they are. Yeah, these feel similar. If anything, the Gucci one, which is here, feels a little bit more powdery when I touch it, uh, the Armani feels a little bit smoother. Not in a bad way, none of these. It's just the texture. It feels like the Armani seems a little bit smoother on the hand when I swatch it. This one it seems to have just a little bit more kickback um, when I swatch it again. I don't know how it looks on the skin, but yeah, the formula, 
I have to say the Armani looks smoother even on the hand. I'm trying to compare it side by side right now. Let me put the plum one. I also have like four colors of the Gucci, so I'll just swatch them all. Okay, so I swatched all my Gucci ones that are here and the Armani. Besides the color difference, the Armani are more pigmented. The Gucci, when I swatch them, for example, this plum color, which is the berry shade, it is called Warm Berry. Compared to the plum one, it seems like the plum, it's just more pigmented. The Gucci, I had to build it up a little bit more. And honestly, besides that, the Silky Rose may be similar to this one from Armani, but the colors are just different. Um, but I wanted to swatch them side by side just so I can get a feel of the formula. And it seems like the Armani's are a little bit smoother and more um, pigmented. Okay, enough talking, let's put these on honestly if i really like these i will try to see during the sephora sale if there's any more nude colors i have this one that you know is a softer color and th this is also a beautiful um the, the shade 51 but i'm looking for like a more nude color i feel like online the swatches aren't super helpful so i'm very curious to see either in person or I don't know, some other reviews on different shades. I'm gonna start with the shade 50. Take my Real Techniques brush and we are gonna apply it here. Ooh, super soft. Um, with that glow. Okay, this even though the color's not the same, but this reminds me of the new Chanel blush that I just tried. That one is more baby pink and the shift is more of a silver shift. This has a lot more warmth and glow, but it's kind of the same effect on the skin. I am talking about this Chanel that I just reviewed. This is the new release um, in the color, I don't know, Illuminating Blush Powder. It's this one right here. And this is definitely more peachy, and this is more of that baby pink, more cool tone. This has more warmth, but the effect, it's kind of similar. It gives that um, highlighted effect, uh, and this has a little bit more, again, like I said, warmth, and it could be a highlighter, a blush topper, and honestly, just a blush in itself. It is so beautiful it's definitely smoothing on the skin i feel like this whole area looks very smooth this format is very nice not splotchy at all um pigmented enough i think it's more pigmented than the the uh, chanel one but the effect look at that glow Ooh, this excites me i want more in these formula because I like this glowy blush. So this is the shade 50. Let's move on to the shade 51. I'm gonna put it right here. And I'm gonna take this real uh, BK Beauty 104. And it seems like it picked up a lot. So I'm gonna tap this first and then go on my cheek. Let's move this here. I'm gonna add more just because I went in with a very little product initially because I was scared. <laughs> so this is the color 51 and it's supposed to be more of a dusty rose. On me it was quite pink. Like let me swatch it right here. See it's quite bright and pink and then we have this other one. It's also super intense. So I would consider this to be more of a neutral pink. It's not cool, too cool tone. It's not too warm uh, and it's beautiful. It doesn't have that glow as the other one. It's more of a, a natural finish on the skin, but there it's matte. It doesn't have any shimmer in the actual product. I looked up close, I swatched it and I don't see any shimmer whatsoever. It's very soft, blurring, nothing more to say except that it's it went on really nice it's beautiful this is the color 51 so i've been trying to take this blush off and i have to say that it's staying there it's almost like i need to actually take my makeup off and reapply it because this 
blush is not going anywhere. I wanted to compare the two pinks. And so I guess it's seems like it's very long lasting. All right, so I had to fully take my makeup off because no matter how much I scrubbed and took that blush off, I literally had to put foundation over it because it would not budge. That's a great sign in my opinion. So we have a blank canvas. Let's move on to the color 52, which is supposed to be more of that cool tone baby pink. Of course, it seems very bright. I'm gonna slowly add this here. Oh, that's really beautiful. I'm gonna build it up even more right here and a little bit on the forehead. Definitely intense, um, but I wanted to apply more than usual so you guys can actually see the color difference between the 51 and 52. I think you can definitely tell that this one is a little bit more cool tone pink and this is a little bit more neutral warm undertone. I personally kind of love the cool tone pink right now. It just seems a little bit more interesting. So the formula is interesting because it's a very matte when you look at it, but once you put it on the cheek, like they have this glow to it. Um, and this one seems to have even more glow than the 51, the color 51. And you know, I did put more foundation and powder over the other blush. So I'm not sure if the blush is, you know, from underneath is still showing through. It shouldn't because I literally wiped it off. Um, but yeah, this seems to have more radiance to it than the 51. This is the color 52. I'm gonna take both of these off and I'm gonna go in with the plum. Last one, plum color. Let's see how this looks. I'm excited because I like these colors, usually more for fall uh, and winter. Now it's spring, but Ooh, this is so pigmented. I thought I was careful, but wow. I definitely added a lot and that's okay. I really thought I was gentle with this, but it definitely applied quite a lot and there's still that sheen in this one. So I think it's just all of them, some of them have like actual shimmer in it and some like these, the past three ones are just like a luminosity on the skin, but there's no actual shimmer in it or glitter or anything like that. I'm gonna take my foundation brush and kind of try to calm this down, at least around my eye. I really like this color. Oh, it's beautiful. It has definitely like that plum undertone. It's, you know, obviously bright. I feel like if you have deeper skin tone, this could look absolutely beautiful, but it's a beautiful color. So this is the color 60 Plum. Honestly, this color speaks to me. I absolutely love it. I love the finish that these have on the cheek. There is definitely a luminosity to it, but it's just so smooth. It's like that luminous silk. Just feel the concealer similar, the foundation similar. Yeah, it's absolutely, absolutely beautiful. The two colors that I like the most is the 50 and the 60. These two, like the opposites. This one, I think it's very interesting because of the shift that it has in it, that gold shift in it. And this color, I just think it looks so beautiful on the skin. It's a very pigmented, so you can definitely build it up. But I think these two are going to be my favorite. These are so soft. See, even here that's the matte one but it still has radiance to it and the, this one you can obviously tell that it's like has actual sheen in it but this one the plum and all the other ones don't have that sheen in it it's just a luminosity with it so i think yeah, they're going to be very flattering even if you have texture over it i think it would still look really beautiful i'm gonna add just a little bit more here I want to swatch this one from um, House Labs. Okay, so the House Labs is much more matte. 
the ones from Armani's are smoother almost and has more sheen to it. Obviously, the House Labs is extremely intense, but they feel more of a thicker formula. The Luminous is a very, very thin formula, extremely creamy, and again, has a little bit more of a radiance to it. I really, really like that. I'm gonna swatch the color 50 next to the new Chanel blush in case you're wondering how these feel or look next to each other. Ignore that part, it's not coming off. This one is the new Chanel and this is the color 50 in Armani. And honestly, they have the same idea, just the color's different. So this is definitely more warm tone and then more cool tone. But the shift, it's a very similar idea. I think the Chanel feels just a little bit lighter, almost like it's it's one with the skin. This one has a little bit more pigment and just is a little bit creamier. The Chanel, it's almost like you have nothing on the skin. I wanna take a little bit of the 50 and add it on top of this plum right here. To add even more glow. Pretty. So after comparing all these different blushes and kind of playing with them on my hands, swatching them, looking at them, them feeling them, it seems like the Armani feel one of the most velvety finish, silky, or when I swatch it. And they do all have a soft radiance, except the shade 50 that has a shift and shimmer in it. But even that is not glittery. It's still very elegant. Um, now, are these revolutionary? Something that I haven't seen before? No, they're, they're nice, but they're not revolutionary. I, I, even want to say that I still like the Gucci ones better. There's something with the Gucci ones that they give me such a blurring effect that these, they, they, they look very beautiful. There's a blurring to the skin, but maybe the colors aren't my all time favorite. The Gucci has better colors. Um, you know, the ones that I've tried. Now the price is up there $38 for 3.6 grams of product, but Truly, I was expecting more in the 40 range just because it's our money. So that doesn't bother me. The price doesn't bother me as much because you're also paying for the name. You're not just paying for the product. We already know this. This channel is all about luxury, high end. And I mean, I paid $80 for a Chanel blush. So now I am very curious to see how these will last throughout the day for, but from just my swatches and not wiping off from me working, having to work so hard on my blush to remove it, this tells me that these are gonna be long lasting. It almost like it gets stuck to your cheeks and stays there. So this is a huge positive if that is true um, because blushes tend to fade really fast. Mostly if they have you know a glow or a sheen to them, they tend to fade the fastest. Usually the cheeks are one of the first things to fade in your makeup. So this could be a huge positive if they do last, you know, a long time, but I have a feeling that these will. I will let you guys know in the description box how it wore and how they look at the end of the day, because today is like, it's still morning time here. So I'll have a long time to kind of give you an update on that. Now these are definitely wonderful and I love the glow that it gives. I love that there's no glitter or shimmer in it. I do think that they blend in really nice, but I am curious to try a few more shades because all of these seem to pull a little bit more pink. I want to try some more peachy or maybe nude colors. However, the color plum, it's surprisingly, uh, I liked more than the other pink colors. So I would love to know all your thoughts down below. Are you interested in this? It seems like a lot of people were interested when I talked about them in one of my Will I Buy It videos. So yeah, I love them. I think they're beautiful and I can't wait to talk to you in the comments down below. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.